So after London Marathon on April the 21st, I'll be taking a short break to re-energize myself and then getting straight back into the swing of things to chase down some summer goals. So with London Marathon just over five weeks away at the point of recording this, it's very, very exciting. But my eyes are now starting to drift toward what is coming up in the summer. And the reason they're drifting is because I haven't run a single step this week. But more on that in Sunday's training series video. That's not for this video. This week has allowed me to firm up some plans for summer, which I'm really excited to share with you. What I want to train for, some potential races. Uh, but I will share a little bit as to what's been going on this week. Let's start with that first. So after all this virus shenanigans that has been going on over my Barcelona half marathon and then into this recent last week where my lad picked up another virus and that's now circulating around the family. I thought I'd seen the back of it and after Saturday's long run where I just had to pull the plug a little bit early if you saw that video you know why uh, after that i decided to just push the reset button and i plan to take two or three days off before then just getting going into an easy week what was happening was my heart rate after intense sessions and long runs when it was just not coming back down quickly it's taking about five or six hours to come back down under 90 beats a minute until it started to settle which showed me there was still an underlying issue there easy runs and moderate runs absolutely fine but anything intense my body was just not a fan of. Now fast forward into that week, I thought I was doing the right thing by taking some time off, but what that seems to have happened, or what that seems to have allowed to happen, is the virus to really take hold of me, and it really got a grip of me on Tuesday. I'm pleased to report that as of Thursday when I'm recording this, I'm feeling a darn sight better, and I have made some changes uh, to my uh, diet and my routine at the moment that I'm hoping will make a big difference. That's not for this video, I'll share that on Sunday. I just wanted to let you guys know why I've been able to sit down and firm up some plans for the summer. So although the the big day is five and a bit weeks away my plans for London really have changed and that does actually impact what's going to happen with summer and the reason that impacts things is it depends on how I decide to run London now if you were rewind two weeks ago that uh, would have been a case of right I'm just going to go out there and run I'm not going to run for a PB but I still feel like I can pick up some good fitness in these last six weeks seven weeks uh, and get myself into relatively decent shape and maybe uh, get close to a PB but just forget times and just run strong that's what I was going for forget the time run strong and hopefully that would have brought me in at a decent time what I would have really liked is a fast Berlin qualifying time which is obviously sub 245 and I feel like with a PB of 240 and having progressed since then that would have been manageable off not the best type of training however since this second virus this has really kibosh things and I feel like I've done enough long runs so far to get me around the course but where it leaves me in terms of fitness and pacing and all of that sort of stuff I genuinely have no idea so my options at the moment and I'm not asking sort of like for an opinion I don't mean it's in a rude way I'm not asking for an opinion or anything what's going on in my head at the moment is how do I approach London how do I race it do I treat it as a long run workout in which case I can just bounce off the back of it and continue training I will still have a down week because we do actually have have a holiday shortly after that um, a small UK one so there is that uh, and I will have some downtime anyway but it won't beat me up as much and it will allow me to get back into some good training relatively quickly or do I still take the tact of do you know what it's London you've put some effort in the virus has been a bit of a sucker but you're here go and enjoy it go and run give it your all and just see what you can do which is the way I'm kind of swaying towards but I feel like if I get any more setbacks at this point then I might sway towards the other way so that's where I'm kind of at with London because if I don't as I said race it relatively hard that does give me a bit more freedom for when I start to kickstart my summer training and speaking of summer training that should be starting on around May the 6th I think that's the Monday anyway that's the day that I've jotted down so that gives me a couple of weeks post London to just kind of uh, relax have this little holiday and then get on with training throughout the summer and what I really want to achieve this summer is some good consistency that's what I've lacked in this first part so that's what I'm going to be focusing on now obviously three weeks post London I'm not going to be diving into super hard training but I usually do uh, a down week completely no running and then I do an easy week and then the third week which is May the 6th I do uh, I drop one workout in there to get the engine revving again and then week four I tend to kick on and properly start training that will probably be the structure uh, that I follow again it's worked in the past and it will probably work again this time so that's what I'm going to do but I do start to have that intent or I do want to have that intention that on May the 6th the mindset switches and we switch gears in towards that summer short 
shorter distance training. So yes, I am going to be aiming uh, for some 5Ks and 10Ks. I want to share what those goals are with you shortly, but that's going to be an 8 to 10 week block, very similar to last summer. I'm quite keen to replicate what I did because whatever I did last summer worked. It got me into really good shape in the autumn. And so I'm keen to just do that again this year. It was fun. It was enjoyable you can race more races with shorter distance stuff. So I'll share some of the races that I'm looking at at the moment and what those goals are now. So let's share what those goals are first. Let's start with the 10K because it's far more important to me than the 5K. The 10K is what, uh, for me a stronger event. 33.00 is the PB. Last year I was trying to chase that and I just couldn't get near it. So I ran that in February in the winter time, uh, it was nice and cold, perfect racing conditions. And in the summer, I think the quickest I ran was 33.38 or somewhere around there. So I just couldn't get close to that mark. So my goal for this year is to not only be consistent through this summer training block, hopefully stay ill-free, unlike this winter, um, but just to be consistent and see, see if I can get that time slightly further down into the low 33s in the summer, which would hopefully then give me a stronger chance of running a sub 33, so 32 something in the autumn winter or into the spring next year. So the goal is still there. I still want to chase it, but I am being realistic. Last year taught me a lot of lessons. Last year's training really worked, but it definitely reminded me that summer is not the time to chase PBs. Uh, I'm certainly not the strongest runner in the heat. And so it's going to be important for me to just continue to build that strength, build that resilience um, out on the trails, get some split workouts done where I do one on the concrete, one on the trails, shorter, faster stuff on the tarmac. Uh, longer tempo stuff out on the trails just continue that format it worked a dream last year and so I just want to repeat that formula so that's going to be the goal for the 10k and honestly the 5k I'd love to sit here and say oh, I want to break 16 I know how damn hard that is and I know how bad I am at 5k's 5k's I really don't like doing but I appreciate that by doing two or three of them, it's gonna really help my 10K and all of my running. If I can start to refine that top end, that's just gonna help everything else. What I'm really bad at with 5Ks is pacing. I've never, ever managed to pace a 5K well. I either go out too hard and absolutely fade miserably, or I go out way too slow and then hammer the last mile and I'm just way off the time because I've just left it too late. Um, 10Ks I seem to have managed to have got that pacing nailed on. 5Ks I'm absolutely nowhere near. So I am looking to drop into two or three 5Ks during the summer uh, rather than just the one that I sometimes do. I don't even think I ran, I ran one 5K last year and that was it. So I am keen to do some more, share some races in a second. But yeah, no time goals, just if I can bring it down a little bit from 16, 21, I know I can get closer to lower 16s, 15 something, maybe one day. But this summer, again, just focus on consistency and seeing if I can bring a better 5k performance to the table. So the two race series that are quite local to me that I want to utilize this year is the Rose Inn race series. You see me produce videos on those and the Hereford Couriers 5k. Now there's only going to be one of those Couriers 5k's that I could possibly do and that's the May one because I think, uh, sorry, that's the June one because I think the May one is too close uh, post London for me to uh, be in any sort of shape to go and give it a good go. But there is a June one I believe so I will probably try and look at jumping into that one maybe I haven't booked anything of what I'm about to talk about by the way uh, but these are just ones that I'm marking out on my calendar the Rose in race series is the other one that's local ish to me and I can get up there in about 50 minutes uh, so that's a good one four mile loop and it is just pan flat one that you look on paper and go, you should be able to run really fast there, but every year I just struggle. But I do want to go there again once, if not twice. And again, they run May, June, July, and August. So those two are gonna be probably on the cards for sure. Uh, looking further afield, I am keen to get up back up to Battersea Park for a race. I said after my 10K, I really didn't want to jump into a 10K uh, that early in the morning again, because I found the park, it was like three and a bit or four and a bit loops and the park just got busy after the first loop and it was just not fun. But I said I would definitely consider a 5K there. I see Sri Chimnoy have some 5K races on Tuesday evenings during June so I, and into July. So I am actually looking at potentially trying to do one of those because I can get the train up in the day and a late train home. So that would definitely work for me. And then in terms of 10K races, I'm still scoping them out. There are some local ones to me, but I am also looking for some other big ones. So ones that have popped up that I'm keeping my eye on, but I'm not quite sure about. Clevedon 10K, um, I have entered, I have, I am on the waiting list, I should say, for Frampton. I didn't get in there in time. 
but it is confirmed that I'm on the waiting list, so hopefully I'll get a place for that one. I love to do that one every year. Not the flat, it is fast, but it's not the flattest. There is a big old hill in that one. Uh, so again, that would just be going out there to try and break a PB, but another good strength run out there if I can get into that one. So those are the ones that I've highlighted at the moment. And of course, Bristol Track Club, those ones I'm eyeing up as well. I am actually in for the one this April, nine days before London. Um, Will tried to get me into it last year and I was just worried about an injury so I pulled out from it but I'm going to be in for it this year so God only knows what shape I'll be in for that one but I do want to try and get into a summer one as well so that is something I'm going to be eyeing up so those are the ones that I've got written down and I'm kind of penciling into the calendar, seeing which ones work, which ones don't, which ones work for childcare, which ones don't, that sort of thing. Uh, but I'd love to hear your suggestions and if you have anything that you're going to be running and that you guys could recommend as well. And so all of that should come to a head in and around the beginning to mid of July, uh, eight to 10 weeks. And then from there, I will click into another gear and go into the next training block. Uh, I'll talk about that later uh, down the road. But for the moment, I just want to laser focus on the next goal. I want, uh, first of all, I want to laser focus on London but I also want to start prepping some of this because I know some of these race entries sell out pretty quickly and that's something that as runners we have to be a little bit aware of because I have missed two or three races already this year because I've been slow off the mark to get into them so I am kind of getting ready to enter a lot of these things and just trying to plan my summer a little bit more I'd love to hear what your summer plans are please do drop a comment below as I said, race recommendations would be great, but if you just want to share what you're up to, what your plans are after your spring training, it would be great to hear what they are and then potentially maybe what you're looking for towards the end of the year. That's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. I'll see you on the next one.